Imagine a world overshadowed by a mushroom cloud, where cities once bustling with life now lay in ruins, shrouded in a deadly silence. This scenario, as catastrophic as it sounds, is a possible reality in the event of a nuclear war. The sheer power of nuclear weapons is incomprehensible to many, and their deployment would signify not just the devastation of targeted areas, but potentially the onset of a long, dark winter for the entire planet. The thought of nuclear war often brings images of explosions and immediate devastation, but the real horror lies in the aftermath. The impacts are long-lasting, affecting health, environment, and global politics in ways that are difficult to predict, but impossible to ignore. Understanding these repercussions is not about spreading fear, but about recognizing the gravity of nuclear weapons as a deterrent to their use. The very notion of discussing survival in a post-nuclear war scenario is filled with uncertainty. Experts often debate not only the probability of surviving the initial blast but also enduring the subsequent fallout. This essay aims to explore the grim reality of nuclear war, examining the survival chances, the health impacts of radiation, and the broader global aftermath. It is a call to understand and ultimately prevent such a tragedy. The first 24 hours after a nuclear explosion are crucial, yet chaotic. Initially, the explosion would generate intense light and heat, followed by a shockwave that can demolish buildings, ignite fires, and cause immediate casualties. This initial blast can devastate an area within seconds, creating a landscape of destruction that resembles the aftermath of a natural disaster, but with far more severe and lasting consequences. Following the initial shockwave, the next threat is the release of radioactive materials. These materials are swept up into the atmosphere and eventually fall back to Earth as nuclear fallout. This fallout is highly dangerous, emitting radiation that can be lethal in high doses. Areas downwind from the explosion site are particularly at risk, as the wind can carry radioactive particles over vast distances, contaminating air, water, and soil. As emergency services struggle to respond, the challenges are immense. Communication networks are likely disrupted, roads are impassable, and hospitals, if still standing, are overwhelmed with casualties. The survivors face not only the physical injuries from the blast and burns but also the psychological trauma of the event. The immediate aftermath sets the stage for a prolonged period of hardship, emphasizing the dire need for effective disaster preparedness and response strategies. Radiation sickness, or acute radiation syndrome, ARS, occurs after high-level radiation exposure, which is an inevitable consequence of a nuclear blast. Symptoms can start within the hour and range from nausea and vomiting to severe headaches and fatigue. These initial symptoms, often referred to as the prodromal stage, can give way to a brief period where individuals may feel falsely better, only to deteriorate rapidly as the full impact of the radiation sets in. The severity of ARS depends on the amount of radiation exposure. High doses can damage the bone marrow and central nervous system, leading to infections, bleeding, and neurological complications. Without prompt and appropriate medical treatment which may be scarce in the aftermath of a nuclear attack, the prognosis for those with severe ARS is grim. The lack of medical infrastructure only compounds these challenges, significantly lowering survival chances. Long-term survivors of ARS may face a host of health issues, including a significantly increased risk of cancer, particularly leukemia and thyroid cancer. The psychological impact is also profound. Survivors may experience PTSD and other mental health disorders, further complicating their recovery. Understanding ARS is crucial, as is educating the public about the potential health impacts of radiation to enhance survival rates in the unlikely event of a nuclear conflict. The long-term health consequences of exposure to nuclear radiation extend far beyond acute radiation sickness. Individuals exposed to lower levels of radiation may not experience immediate symptoms, yet they are at a heightened risk for developing a range of serious health conditions over time. These conditions include various forms of cancer, cardiovascular disease and cataracts, as well as potential reproductive issues such as infertility. Children and pregnant women are particularly vulnerable to the effects of radiation. In children, radiation exposure can lead to developmental delays, growth problems, and even cognitive impairments, depending on the degree and timing of the exposure. Pregnant women exposed to radiation face a higher risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, and congenital disabilities in their newborns. 
reflecting the sensitivity of developing tissues to radioactive materials. Moreover, the psychological impact of living with the constant fear of potential health issues cannot be overstated. The anxiety and stress associated with radiation exposure can have debilitating mental health effects, compounding the physical health risks. Communities affected by radiation need comprehensive support systems to address both the psychological and physical aftermath, highlighting the importance of long-term healthcare initiatives in radiation-affected regions. The immediate destruction caused by a nuclear blast is followed by long-term economic and infrastructural challenges. Key facilities like power plants, water treatment systems, and transportation hubs can be severely damaged or destroyed, disrupting essential services and causing economic activities to grind to a halt. The recovery of such infrastructure is a costly and time-consuming process, draining national resources and significantly slowing economic recovery. In the aftermath of a nuclear attack, the economic impact extends beyond the physical damage to include loss of workforce, decreased productivity, and a significant downturn in consumer and investor confidence. Industries heavily reliant on infrastructure such as manufacturing and logistics are particularly hard hit. The ripple effects can lead to a prolonged economic depression, affecting even regions not directly hit by the blast. Moreover, the cost of rebuilding and rehabilitating affected areas is astronomical and often beyond the financial capability of a single nation, necessitating international aid and cooperation. This dependency can lead to complex political and economic dynamics as countries struggle to balance their own interests with the demands of global diplomacy and humanitarian assistance. The economic fallout is thus both a national and international concern, with far-reaching implications. A nuclear explosion does not respect national borders, its environmental impact is global. The immediate vicinity of the explosion suffers from extreme levels of radiation, rendering the land uninhabitable and unproductive for decades. However, the broader environmental impact involves the spread of radioactive materials across the globe, affecting ecosystems and biodiversity far from the site of the explosion. The concept of nuclear winter a theory suggesting that smoke and soot from firestorms caused by nuclear bombs could block sunlight, significantly cooling the Earth's surface, is a stark example of the potential global climatic impact. This dramatic change in temperature could disrupt weather patterns, reduce agricultural productivity, and lead to food shortages worldwide, demonstrating how interconnected our global ecosystem is. Moreover, the impact on marine and wildlife is profound, Radioactive particles that settle on water bodies can lead to bioaccumulation of radiation in marine life, disrupting aquatic ecosystems and the communities that rely on them for food. Similarly, land animals can absorb radiation through contaminated soil and plants, leading to genetic mutations and population declines. The environmental consequences of a nuclear war therefore extend beyond human casualties to affect all levels of life on Earth. The psychological impact of nuclear war is profound and pervasive, affecting not only those who survive the initial blast but also generations thereafter. The immediate psychological effects include acute stress reactions, anxiety disorders, and in many cases severe depression. Witnessing the destruction of one's community and coping with the loss of loved ones can overwhelm the mental health resources of any community. In the longer term, the social fabric of communities can be irreparably damaged. Social cohesion often suffers as trust declines and individuals struggle with the ongoing stress and trauma of their experiences. This can lead to increased social isolation, a breakdown in social norms, and difficulty in rebuilding community structures. The mental health implications thus have a direct impact on the social recovery and stability of affected populations. Moreover, the stigma associated with radiation exposure can lead to further social isolation. Survivors may be viewed as contaminated, and could face discrimination, complicating their efforts to reintegrate into society. Mental health support and social rehabilitation programs are crucial to address these complex social dynamics, highlighting the need for comprehensive post-disaster recovery plans that include psychological care and social support. The threat of nuclear war is a critical concern in international relations. The policies governing nuclear weapons are complex, and involve numerous international treaties and agreements aimed at preventing the proliferation and use of nuclear arms. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, or NPT for example, 
is a cornerstone of global efforts to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and promote nuclear disarmament. However, geopolitical tensions often complicate these efforts. Countries may pursue nuclear weapons as a deterrent against perceived threats from neighboring states or global powers. This leads to a precarious balance of power, where the potential use of nuclear weapons is a constant threat. Effective international diplomacy is essential to manage these tensions and promote a global environment in which the use of nuclear weapons is unthinkable. Moreover, the role of international watchdogs, such as the International Atomic Energy Agency, is crucial in monitoring nuclear activities and ensuring compliance with international standards. These organizations facilitate transparency and trust among nations, but their effectiveness depends on the cooperation and commitment of all countries involved. Strengthening international relations and enhancing the role of diplomatic negotiations is vital for sustained nuclear disarmancy and global security. Surviving in a post-nuclear world requires preparation and resilience. The first step is widespread education on nuclear risks and emergency preparedness. This includes understanding the basics of radiation, knowing how to find and create safe shelters, and being aware of the safest methods for evacuation if necessary. Communities that are well prepared are more likely to manage the immediate aftermath effectively. Long-term survival depends on the ability to rebuild and sustain essential services such as healthcare, food supply, and clean water. Innovation in technology could play a crucial role here, with advances in medical technology, agriculture, and water purification becoming pivotal. Community resilience can be enhanced by strong local leadership and the establishment of robust communication networks to coordinate recovery efforts. Moreover, psychological resilience is equally important. Community support groups, mental health services, and educational programs can help people cope with the trauma and stress of living in a post-nuclear environment. Building a culture of resilience and mutual aid not only helps in immediate survival, but also supports the long-term recovery and stability of communities affected by nuclear war. Science and technology have pivotal roles in both the prevention of nuclear war and the mitigation of its effects. Advances in missile defense systems, for example, can help prevent nuclear missiles from reaching their targets, thereby reducing the likelihood of a successful attack. Similarly, satellite technology and international monitoring systems can detect and deter illegal nuclear activities, providing a technological means of enforcing international treaties. In the realm of health, technological advancements can improve the effectiveness of medical treatments for radiation exposure and help in the early detection of radiation-related diseases. Research into material science can also yield innovations in protective clothing and building materials that reduce the amount of radiation to which people are exposed during and after an attack. Furthermore, technology plays a crucial role in communication and information dissemination. In the event of a nuclear crisis, having robust fail-safe communication systems can be the difference between chaos and coordinated response. Technology can also aid in educating the public about nuclear risks and safety procedures, enhancing overall preparedness. The proactive use of science and technology is thus essential in preventing nuclear war and reducing its potential impacts. The grim realities of nuclear war underline the critical importance of global peace and cooperation. The potential devastation is so extensive that it cannot be fully mitigated by any single nation or technological solution. Instead, it requires a concerted effort from nations worldwide to reduce nuclear arsenals, improve diplomatic relations, and enhance transparency in nuclear activities. Advocating for peace and international cooperation is not merely idealistic, it is a practical necessity for the survival of humanity. Education plays a crucial role in this, as an informed public is more likely to support and promote policies aimed at nuclear disarmancy and world peace. Additionally, fostering a global culture that values peace over conflict and cooperation over confrontation is essential. In conclusion, while the prospect of nuclear war is daunting, it is not inevitable. Through international cooperation, robust policymaking, and public education, the threat can be substantially reduced. It is through these efforts that we can hope to never witness the catastrophic scenarios described, ensuring a safer world for future generations. The path to a nuclear-free world is long and fraught with challenges but it is undoubtedly a journey worth taking.